if you ask me what was probably the most memorable operation I ever did, it was here at Station 8, uh, where the Moroshka, which was a pleasure vessel, uh, with the capability of uh, 41 persons on board, being three crew and uh, the remainder 39 being um, uh, passengers, um, occurred in about 20, for 2012, in fact. It was October 2012. Uh, the vessel had been around for some time operating as a pleasure boat in Hermanus and had been bought by uh, three gentlemen here in Hart Bay. Uh, the vessel went out one Saturday afternoon with a full capacity of passengers and um, when it went around to Dacre Island that afternoon it had a full complement of crew as well as passengers. The vessel then took on water near Dacre Island and because of the number of passengers aboard and the conditions of the sea that particular day eventually turned over and capsized and sank in the area just north of Dacan Island, Dacan Island. Fortunately for us, um, we were able to dispatch sufficient rescue boats um, to the area um, in, an, in an operation that took some 14 hours that day and managed to, in Sea Rescue's history, rescue the most casualties ever rescued in an NSRI operation um, to date. Um, all um, of the crew, as well as all of the passengers aboard that day, were rescued. There were unfortunately two, two fatalities, being one crewman and one passenger. But everybody else was rescued alive and well. Um, and it is still today considered one of the best uh, managed operations with the best outcome we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Station 8 has had a number of rescue vehicles and mobiles over the, year, over the years, starting with a very small little Suzuki Jeep, which you'll see in one of the pictures um, as I'm speaking. This little vehicle stood where this rescue boat is standing now and used to be permanently coupled to a trickle charge to keep its batteries alive and well so that at the drop of a hat one could get into the vehicle and be able to drive it to where it was needed. It was always very humorous to most of us um, who had to always uh, remember to uncouple the trickle charger from the vehicle before it drove off, which unfortunately in many cases did not happen. And I remember spending many happy afternoons here reassembling not just the trickle charger, but all of the cabling that used to attach the vehicle. As with everything in NSRI and Station 8, everything has a story. This particular boat that I'm standing in front of now, Tsunsalo Phoenix, resulted as a donation from the owners of the Tsunsalo Lodge, which as you might know, burnt down in the severe mountain fire some years ago. As a gift to us for all of the work we did to rescue most of the um, management and staff as well as the, the, the people that were staying at Tsunsalo, the owners gave us this vessel to remember that particular service. As I mentioned earlier, when NSRI started to develop standardized um, class three rescue craft, which included everything from 5.5 meter ribs up until the 8.5 meter ribs, um, we decided we were going to design for the conditions we were experiencing in South Africa and the need for small rescue craft to be able to do difficult jobs in difficult weather. Uh, I stand in front of a 7.3, which is one of the early designs, but as you can see, this is a design that um, has lasted now since 2008. Um, it is a 7.3 meter rib uh, with 235 horsepower engines, but most importantly, it's got what we call a wraparound console. So that the crew that go to sea in her are actually well protected from the elements. Far better than we ever had in the ski boats, which were in the same class in the early days. These craft are capable of long offshore operations, as well as quite significant sea conditions and weather. These protect the crew and give them an endurance of six hours plus at sea, considering the type of work that we have to do in the area that we're working. This 7.3 was um, brought into the station in about 2008, um, after a, a lengthy review of the, the 5.5 that we had. Um, and we realized that a, a longer hull gave us better endurance, better crew durability, 
and gave us the capability of getting to casualties in a much faster, much safer way. We've now designed a larger craft going up to 10 meters of the rib cap capability and probably in certainly in uh, sea rescue circles around the world we are seen as a leader in rib design um, for these classes of vessels.